facts that prove that America is in deep, deep trouble. By Edward Morgan Is this the generation that is going to witness the end of America? If our country stays on the path that it is currently on, it is very difficult to see how we are possibly going to make it. Throughout human history every great society has eventually entered a period of decline, and sadly that is happening to us as well. My hope is that we can wake the American people up while there is still time, and that we can return to the values and the principles that this nation was originally founded upon. Below are 16 facts that prove that America is in deep, deep trouble. Many of these numbers come from my new book, and many of them seem almost too crazy to believe. Number 1 When Ronald Reagan won his first election, the U.S. national debt was less than $1 trillion. When Barack Obama entered the White House it was sitting at $10.6 trillion. When the Republicans took control of the House of Representatives in 2010 it was about $14 trillion. And now we have nearly reached the $20 trillion mark. We have been stealing money from our children and our grandchildren at the rate of more than $100 million an hour, and yet most Americans don't seem to care that we are rapidly bankrupting our nation. Number 2 In 1956, approximately 5% of all babies in the United States were born to unmarried mothers. Today. Things have obviously changed tremendously. 2008 was the very first year in United States history when 40% of all babies were born to unmarried mothers, and we have now stayed at that level for eight straight years. Number 3 In the early 1970s, well over 60% of all Americans were considered to be middle class. But in 2015 that number dipped below 50% for the first time ever. Number 4 In 2001, nearly 16 million Americans could not afford the homes that they were currently living in, but by 2015 that number had more than doubled. Number 5 Our system of public education is a complete mess. A study of millennials in 22 major industrialized nations conducted by the Educational Testing Service found that only two countries were worse when it comes to literacy proficiency, and we were dead last when it comes to math. Number 6 In the early 1970s, 70% of all men in the United States from the age of 20 to the age of 39 were married. But today that number has fallen to just 35%. Instead of getting married and starting families, a lot of our young men are still living at home with their parents. Today, 35% of all young men from the age of 21 to the age of 30 are living at home with their parents or a close relative. Number 7 Many Americans don't realize this. But the United States has the highest rate of illegal drug use on the entire planet. But we actually have an even bigger problem with legal drugs. According to a study conducted by the Mayo Clinic, nearly 70% of all Americans are on at least one prescription drug, and an astounding 20% of all Americans are on at least five prescription drugs. Number 8 According to the CDC, 110 million Americans currently have a sexually transmitted disease, and there are approximately 20 million new STD cases in the United States every single year. Number 9 Thanks to decades of unchecked illegal immigration, membership in criminal gangs has absolutely exploded all over the country. Today there are 150,000 gang members living in the city of Chicago and they outnumber the police by more than a 10 to 1 margin. Number 10 today there are more than 4 million adult websites on the internet, and they get more traffic than Netflix, Amazon and Twitter combined. Addiction to these websites has become a major national crisis, and yet very little is being done. One major survey found that 64% of all Christian men in America view adult material at least once a month, 
and a different major survey found that 68% of all Christian men in America view adult material on a regular basis. Number 11 When a federal income tax was introduced in 1913, it was fairly simple and most taxpayers were taxed at a rate of just 1%. Today, the tax code is more than 2 million words long and the regulations are more than 7 million words long. Number 12 Our government continues to waste money in absolutely insane ways. For example, the U.S. military actually spends $42 million a year on Viagra. Number 13 We are an extremely, extremely unhappy nation. If you can believe it, doctors in the United States write more than 250 million prescriptions for antidepressants each year. Number 14 in 2007, 54% of all Americans were opposed to gay marriage and only 37% wanted it to be legalized. Today, 62% of all Americans support gay marriage and only 32% are still against it. Number 15 The average rate of economic growth over the past 10 years has been exactly equal to the average rate that the U.S. economy grew during the 1930s. I was stunned when I discovered that the U.S. economy had only grown at an average yearly rate of just 1.33% over the past 10 years, and that is the exact same average yearly rate that the U.S. economy grew during the decade of the 1930s. Number 16 Since Roe v. Wade was decided in 1973, nearly 60 million American children have been murdered in America's abortion mills. Sadly, the number of children that are aborted each day in this country is roughly equal to the number of Americans that lost their lives on September 11. If we do not put an end to this, there isn't going to be any sort of a future for this nation. Michael Snyder is a Republican candidate for Congress in Idaho's 1st Congressional District, and you can learn how you can get involved in the campaign on his official website. His new book entitled Living a Life That Really Matters is available in paperback and for the Kindle on Amazon.com.